Welcome to our tutorial about the Sculpt tool. Sketch 1 is currently active. Let's create a profile. Here's my ellipse. Let's drop it right about here and finish the sketch. Let's activate the Extrude command. In the Output option area, let's select Surface. We'll extrude by 2 inches and in both directions. Let's click OK. Now let's create another 2D sketch on the XZ plane. I'll use a three point arc. First point, second point, and let's drop my third point about here. Now align. Right click and done. Now let's exit the sketch. Let's activate the extrude command again and select the arc. We'll extrude in both directions. Be sure this surface covers the entire profile. Our goal here is to create a closed cavity. Let's click OK. Now let's share our most recent sketch. Expand Extrusion 2, right click on Sketch 2 and select Share Sketch. Activate the Extrude command again and create another extrusion in both directions. Click OK. Let's take an isometric view. Now let's activate the Sculpt tool. It's on the Surfaces panel. We'll select our surfaces. Right here we see three side selection handles. They're also available in our dialog window. We're going to talk about these handles in a minute. For now, let's click OK. And here is our solid body. When I go to the solid body folder, I see that I've got one solid body and how it was created. Let's go back and edit sketch 2. We'll place a three-point arc down here, second point, and third point. Exit the sketch. Activate the extrude command. Let's extrude one more surface. For output, select Surface. Extents menu. Let's use Distance. We'll extrude in both directions and click OK. Now let's activate the Sculpt tool again. Our options on the left side let us add material or remove material. Let's select the surface to sculpt. Now let's talk about those side selections. We'll expand the dialog window to access this option. From this drop down menu, we can choose to remove the left, right, or both sides. Let's remove the left side and click OK. And this concludes our tutorial about the Sculpt tool.